Billy, big news. The Alphers won a contest. Yeah? Well, let's see. You want a copy of Cat Lovers Monthly? Kind of a letdown. No recipes. <laughs> How did you win this? Well, I entered that publisher sweepstakes thing. I licked all those magazine stamps and stuck them on my entry. You sent in all those stamps? Well, all except Red Book. It's still stuck to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Just uh, how many magazines did you win? Check the front porch. Alf, you didn't win any sweepstakes. You, you've subscribed to hundreds of magazines. Well, that explains this personal thank you note from Ed McMahon. Well, here's your cappuccino. Where's the grated cheese? I'll get it. Willie, Kate, I have something to tell you. This time, the old Alfers really won something. What now? 11 records for a penny? No. This time, the Alfers won stuff for everybody. Pony rides for Brian, tennis lessons for Lynn, Dinner and dancing for you two, and best of all, for the old Alpher, a toaster. <laughs> I guess you didn't hear me. A toaster! We heard you. Did I mention that the toaster talks? Oh, Alf, this, this is just a real estate promotion, a free toaster for listening to a sales pitch about uh, vacation homes. You mean no pony rides? There may be a pony ride, but there's also a seven-hour car ride to get to this place. I'm not driving seven hours. Sorry, Alf. Alfer. Alfer. They lied to a child? Hi, neighbor. Oh, hi. Got your present. Thanks. Won't you come in? Oh, I noticed your garbage cans have been flowing over. Oh, yeah, we've been throwing out a lot of magazines lately. Yeah. <laughs> These insert things are all over your porch and lawn. I kept the perfume samples. Wife's birthday's next week. <laughs> She'll be touched. As am I. <laughs> hey! You got a letter from Rancho Estates, too. Oh, yeah, the toaster people. Yeah, yeah. Raquel and me, we go to these things all the time. Hey, you want to go together? Together? No, no, we're not interested. <laughs> well, because of me? No, no, I didn't mean that. Uh, we'd, we'd love to spend a weekend with you folk, but we're not interested in a seven-hour drive. Oh, you can fly there in one hour. Yeah, sure, but who could afford it? I'll fly you there for nothing. My friend lets me borrow his plane on weekends. You're a pilot? Yeah, I flew in Korea. Over Rinchon, I took some commie flack in my ribs. You want to see the scar? <laughs> oh, how you doing, Kate? Trevor? Then it's settled. See you Friday night after work at the airport. What's settled? What airport? Oh, thanks again for the garbage can, Trevor. What garbage can? This garbage can. 
And Trevor wants to fly us to Rancho Estates. Way to go, Mr. O! We don't have to see Miss Trachmonic in a bathing suit, do we? No, because we're not going. Why? It'll be fun. What, a weekend with the Achmonics? Well, you know, it, it's not as if we have to share the same bathroom, do we? No. Let's go anyway. Even if you could get me in a plane with Trevor, we still have the problem of leaving Alf all alone. Well, now, maybe that's not that big a problem. Alf has gone six months without starting a fire. <laughs> Dad? Please. Gee, a vacation would be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh-oh. Am I going alone? No, Alf, we are going alone. This is Captain Akmonic speaking. For those with cameras, on your left is the Tahunga Toxic Waste Dump. I'll fly in lower so you can get a better view. No, don't. We can see it fine from here. Boy, I sure get a kick out of flying passengers for a change. Instead of just cargo. Where's that smell coming from? In the cargo hold where the pigs are. Daddy, I feel so sick. I mean, why do we have to fly facing backwards anyway? I guess so we can keep our eye on the pigs. There you go. Willie, this place is really nice. I'm kind of surprised. Me too. The hotel is great. I keep looking for the catch. <laughs> Hello, you must be the Tanners. I'm Bill Lohman, sales manager for Rancho Estates. I was expecting you. Oh, no, Mr. Tanner, I think you were expecting the hard sell. <laughs> well, there's no need to worry about that. Good, because after you've seen this slideshow, you are going to be begging me to sell you a home. Buenos dias. That means good day. And at Rancho Estates, every day is a good day. Uh, would it be OK if we looked at this later? Uh, when later? Much later. <laughs> oh, absolutely, no problem. <laughs> you know, you folks should first enjoy some tennis, some swimming, and some fishing. <laughs> and if you need me, I'll be following you in a golf cart. <laughs> you know, we expected a sales pitch. Yeah. That's no reason why we still can't enjoy ourselves. Golf! <laughs> Buenos dias! <laughs> Let's clear this up. Are you or are you not happy to see me? I'm happy, Alf. Are those chocolates? How did you get here? I stowed away in Kate's suitcase. Oh, no. Now I'll have your hair all over my clothes. Take it easy. Your clothes are hair free and hanging neatly in the closet back home. What am I supposed to wear here? Well, I love what you've got on now. Perfect for every occasion. Alf, we trusted you to stay out of trouble. I trusted you to get my toaster, and I don't see it anywhere, let alone hear it. But the fact is, I felt neglected. I'm a member of this family, too, you know. I just wanted to be with the people I love and get that toaster. Hey, Tanner, guess what? We have adjoining rooms. Hey, open up. Can't we shake this guy? Uh, Brian, quick, you better hide out from the bedroom. All right, but don't start that slideshow without me. What are you doing up so early? I'm sorry, hon. I, I never got to sleep. I spent the whole night listening to the Akmonic snore. Both snore? In a pattern. 
nothing like a conversation. <laughs> Didn't you hear it? Yeah, but I just thought it was the ice machine. <laughs> Alf. Where's Alf? Well, I thought he was in with you. Kate. What's wrong? I can't find Alf. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Willie, what's wrong? Where were you? Out catching catfish. Well, somebody could have seen you. No way. This place is a morgue before dawn. I wanted to surprise you guys by serving catfish in bed. Hey, Tana, rise and shine. Bedroom. Bathroom. Gotta clean the fish. Come on, V. Good morning, Trevor. Good, you're already up. Hey. We've got a bidet. It's Brian. In the morning, his voice is a lot lower. Sounds like he's shaving. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I won't allow him to have a mustache. That's good. You got to take a stand. Listen, since we're up already, why not go for a pony ride? Oh, thanks, Trevor. We're, we're just going to stay here. Yes, it's such a great room. We don't want to waste it by going out. But you got to go out. You got to go to the big sales presentation. It's mandatory for everybody. All of us. Away from this room at the same time? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Get crazy. <laughs> Alf, he's gone. He's busy scaling catfish. Catfish don't have scales. Then I won't be needing your shaver anymore. <laughs> Neither will I. Nice dress, Mom. Yeah, Kate. You look real sexy in that. Well, anyone would look good in this. <laughs> Trevor! Hmm. You know you're not supposed to be eating shellfish. You'll have an allergic reaction. It's a lot safer than the Mexican food Tana's eating. That huh, Tana? <laughs> what? Oh. I I'm sorry. I was, I was worrying about whether our room would be all right all alone. Our room will be fine, Dad. It has a toaster to keep it company. <laughs> Hello, room service. Send another bag of bread to room 13. Yeah, leave it outside the door again. Those things. Quiet, I'm on the phone. Oh, hey, and bring some tartar sauce. Thanks. Now let's see what you can do with catfish. <laughs> you know, your daughter is a terrific tennis player. <laughs> You know, honey, if you lived up here, you could play every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why don't you tell your dad how much you'd like to live here? No. Oh, go on, tell him. No. Tell him! No! <laughs> oh my All right, settle down, folks. We'll begin the sales presentation in just a minute. <laughs> That's why we're here, right? <laughs> of course, there are some people who keep coming back for the free room and shellfish. <laughs> Last chance for seconds. Trevor, you said you were only going back for salad. I did. It's underneath the shrimp. <laughs> hey, Tana, you didn't need a thing. You're still worried about your room? No. <laughs> Willie, was that? <laughs> yes, it was. I warned them about that Mexican food. I tell you, Tanner, I thought only rock stars got kicked out of hotels. Yeah, I can't imagine what caused that toaster to short circuit. But I'm gonna find out. 
It sure stunk up the place. Smelt the burnt fish all the way to the lobby. <laughs> By the way, how's that smell back in the cargo section? I, for one, miss the pigs. I'm sorry. I meant to host down the jackals. <laughs> Edward Cal, I feel a little woozy. Get me a bromo, will you? I warned you about that shellfish, Trevor. Just get it, all right? I'll get it in a second. I have to put ointment on my shoulders. That hotel ought to warn their guests about the sun. <laughs> Quite possibly the worst weekend of our entire lives. You haven't stopped complaining since I burned down that room. You, back with the jackals. They're hyenas, and I don't like them. They're jackals. Then why are they laughing at me? <laughs> Lieutenant McIntosh. Give me the coordinates. We're almost over enemy territory. Oh, what enemy territory? What enemy territory? What do you think that is, the Mississippi River? Those are the bridges of Toko Ri. Trevor. Trevor. Snap out of it, Trevor. The war is over. Boy, I did overdo the shellfish. Willie, Willie, what, what's wrong? I'm not sure. Trevor, how, how serious is this allergy? It's nothing. Listen, would you switch on the autopilot? Where is it? It's right down there. Thanks. I'm going to get up, move around a little, stretch for a minute so I don't pass out. Oh. Oh, oh. No. Trevor. Oh, Trevor. Trevor. Trevor, say something. Oh, good. The USO. <laughs> Now relax, everybody. Nobody is gonna fly this plane. Uh, yeah. I'll fly it. You, we have an emergency. I'm the logical choice. Oh, and by the way, you were right. They are not hyenas, but they are laughing. Al can fly a plane? Oh, he can't even work the toaster. Well, he did fly a spaceship. Yeah, how different can it be? What does this do? Ooh. I see. Trevor, stop fooling around! Oh my gosh, Raquel! This door is stuck! Somebody help me! Oh, 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 just see, Alf. Help me block the door. Help is on the way, Raquel! Brian, sit down. Fasten your seatbelt. What? Locking the door! Um, a hyena. Well, did he figure it out? Can you fly it? I think so. I need to see an owner's manual. Oh, there's not an owner's manual. And I can't fly it. Oh, the laws of aerodynamics are the same everywhere in the universe. Yeah, that's right. What are they? <laughs> We're headed oh. straight for that mountain. Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Do something quick! All right, all right. Easy, easy. Up, 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 and over. Yeah! This thing's a piece of cake. Oh. oh, a piece of cake? That was a piece of luck. Look! Ah! Check this out. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Tana. It did a great job bringing in that plane. But the next time, you might mention to the airport that you plan to land. <laughs> I keep that in mind. Thank you so much for the dress. I don't know what I would have done without it. <laughs> what a lovely weekend. We must do it again sometime. OK, but only if we get the jackals. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Speak to the old Alpha. <laughs> Are they gone? Yes. Oh, good. Then we could pick up where we left off. 
I believe you were thanking me for saving your lives. No, I believe we had already thanked you several times. Well, you could thank me again. No. Please. All right. Thank you, Alf. We never could have made it back without you. You're the best alien that any family... Oh, stop. Hold that thought, will you, Willie? My catfish are ready. <laughs> <laughs>